We accompanied a London Assembly member from each political group at City Hall around for a day to see their work. This video is a compilation showing some of the activities the Assembly members undertook during the five days of recording. At City Hall, Caroline Pigeon is Chair of the Transport Committee. Recently, the leviathan of public transport projects Crossrail has been dominating much of the news. This morning, Caroline is summoning the Mayor to appear before the committee later on in the month. In light of the public comments we've had made in the last few days by Sir Terry Morgan, Chairman of Crossrail, we're proposing that we resolve to require the attendance of the Mayor of London in his capacity as Chair of TfL. Thamesmead, South East London. Over 50 years ago, the housing development at Thamesmead was intended to be a futuristic project to house the growing population of London. Homes such as these are beset with a variety of challenges. Caroline Russell, as chair of the Environment Committee, is meeting residents of the estate investigating cold, damp and mouldy homes, as well as methods to prevent such conditions. And so the extraction is from the bathrooms and the kitchen, which is where the most of the moisture well, is we'll created. We'll show you one upstairs in the bathroom, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I mean, Amazing. May we? Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. That's very okay. kind of you. Okay. I mean, that's just... Mm. Because it, presumably in terms of maintenance, it's easier yeah, as there well. Is, no, it's there is, and it's, it's, it's that good Yeah, yeah. 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 This investigation will result in a series of recommendations to the Mayor, which, if implemented, aim to improve the lives of Londoners. Meanwhile, at the top of City Hall, Jeanette Arnold is encouraging Londoners to nominate more women for blue plaques. And I'm calling on all Londoners, and that includes you, to back the plaque. Did you know that only 14% of the capital's blue plaques honour women. So we want you to suggest a hundred names of women who deserve the recognition of a blue plaque. We will present your list of a hundred women who deserve a blue plaque to English heritage. It's time to back the plaque and make sure more women get the recognition they deserve. As details of Theresa May's Brexit deal are announced, the national conversation is drenched in debate over the viability and preferability of what is being proposed. Peter Whittle arrives at ITV's Westminster Millbank Studios to ensure that the opinion of Brexit-minded Londoners is heard loud and clear. This is not getting us out of Europe. This is not getting us out of Europe. They were not voting, I might add, on a deal or the type of deal. That wasn't the question. It was, do you want to leave the... European Union. That was the question. It was fair and squarely delivered. Catherine, and on the, on the, on the point of a second round. The journey to this meeting began in this very room, where I saw the difference that could be made by working together across London. Because there really is no other community quite like London. Tonight is the inaugural event of the London Youth Assembly. Gareth Bacon has done much to facilitate the formation of the Youth Assembly so that voices of young Londoners are heard at City Hall. Other Assembly members are in attendance. Um, welcome to all of you to City Hall. So when Katie says that uh, you can shape the future of London, you are the future of London. And actually it's a future that gets neglected far too often. Uh, and listening to young people's voices in here, I think is an incredible thing to do. You should all be very, very proud um, of yourselves. Um, you're very proud of this uh, initiative that you're taking forward. And I hope very much that you establish it on London's political map and take it forward way in, way, way into the future. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you, Ben. Thank you very much. I will meet you.